Hey there, it's Rod Bergeron here with you. My wife recently moved her office uh, to a different location in her house and she wanted a room divider and so I decided to build her one. I used these three doors. I picked these three doors up at a local recycler. Uh, these guys tear down old buildings and uh, save the doors. So I kept, I got these three doors and um, I scraped the paint off them because I knew the paint was going to come off them. So I just took a regular paint scraper and I went over each one of them, scraped the paint off. I must warn you that the paint on these things is um, mostly lead paint. It's old, old paint, you know, from a hundred years ago. So it's a little bit carcinogenic. Um, you need to really be careful when you're dealing with it. Don't, um, you know, don't be touching your face or your mouth or anything. And you'll see here, I got a, I got a couple of doors done. I think I, it, I think it took me about five hours to do these three doors. Uh, that was to completely clean them, to completely take the paint off them. And uh, here you'll see I'm, I'm kind of going at it with a paint scraper. And I got out my vacuum. So if you reverse the hoses on a, on a vacuum, if you take the uh, hose off and you put it onto the uh, part where the air comes off it turns into a blower and that's what I've done here just blowing some of the loose paint off and I have a bucket and a scrub brush I just cleaned these doors really well I took a, a bucket with some all-purpose cleaner in it and um, I just scrubbed them I scrubbed it and I scrubbed it and I scrubbed it um, I took off any loose paint uh, I took off most of the loose paint with the scraper and with the vacuum and then I scrubbed them clean here I am taking the hose to it just making sure I can get all of the dirty any, anything that's dirty off of it and you can see how how very very dirty these were uh, you know they'd been you know in an old sort of abandoned house for a long time and really just I, I can't emphasize enough that you need to be very careful with this and make sure you get as much of the dirt off as you possibly can here I have them outside drying I just stood them up against my garage and stuff and uh, made sure they were thoroughly dry before I did anything else to them so I needed these to fit into a 72 and a half inch space that's the the area from the floor to the bulkhead so I measured them I was very careful in my measurements I made sure that everything what they were exactly the same so here I am I just took them outside I'm measuring them again and you'll see I'm using a blue sharpie I use a blue sharpie to measure stuff with all the time because it's you can really see it and I got a square there again I'm just measuring making sure they're all 72 and a half now if you if you didn't have a very specific place um, this room divider could have different heights of doors no problem i mean you could have doors that were you know 70 inches tall and 74 inches tall and it wouldn't make any difference um, and you wouldn't have to cut them so you wouldn't need this whole step here's my skill saw my you know 30 year old skill saw and um, you need to wear safety glasses you know you can see I'm wearing my glasses there you need to wear safety glasses if you don't know how to use a skill saw uh, get somebody to show you how to use a skill saw you'll find there's there's a million videos on YouTube about how to use a skill saw uh, mostly be safe you know be really careful pay attention to where your fingers are and just keep everything way back away from the actual saw blade but like I said if you didn't need these to be all be the same height this step is completely unnecessary all right so I had to do this to all three doors um, actually I only had to do it to two I had to take off about an inch off two of them the other one was already 72 and a half so uh, that fit perfectly into into my plan so you see here this is the old hinge uh, opening and I'm just gonna put a little bit of weld bond glue on a matchstick and I'm going to put that matchstick into that hole so 
what you really need to do is you really need to fill up any holes. If you're going to use them with a new screw, you really need to fill them up with a, a new matchstick. All right. These are a couple of hinges that I bought from Home Depot. Um, I had two. I had to buy another couple of sets. And you'll see here that the sets, two more sets were $7 and one cent. So four hinges, $7. And you really just need to fit it into, into the hole where the matchsticks are and uh, put yourself a couple of screws in there. So what I've done is I'm screwing, I'm going to screw this hinge. This is an old hinge that I had. This obviously isn't a hinge that I just bought. And I'm just using a regular screwdriver here. You could use a drill if you have it or something else that um, is going to speed the process up. I see I've, I've sped up this so you didn't have to watch me screw these all the way in. But basically you need to have put the hinge, put the hinge into, put the screw into the wood uh, as best you can. It, and like I said, if you have a matchstick in there, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. All right, so here I am putting this, the first door onto the second door. And you'll see I have a little piece of wood in there. See, this is a little piece of wood. So that's making it so it's the same height, so that this hinge lines up flush with the other door. Okay? So what you want to do is as soon as you have that in position and you have a piece of wood that's going to hold it there, it doesn't have to be a piece of wood. It could be a book. It could be, um, you know, even just a stone or something. It just has to hold it straight. And you'll see here I'm squaring it up because once I, once I attach these two on here, you really don't get another do over unless you want to, um, you know, re-drill, re, um, re-screw and everything. So I'm being really careful getting them all lined up nicely getting the ends lined up perfectly. And then I'm gonna flip the hinge up here. I'm gonna flip the hinge up here and I'm gonna make three marks with my, again, with my blue Sharpie. So you're gonna do this at both ends, at both sets of hinges. So you're gonna have two hinges, you're gonna have a hinge on the top and a hinge on the bottom. And once you get those on there, you're gonna take a drill and you're gonna pre-drill these holes. All right, all three of these, you're gonna pre-drill them. Now, you don't have to pre-drill them. I pre-drill, I like to pre-drill stuff because it makes it way easier to put the screw in. Um, and, and these are hardwood doors, so they're, um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not easy, but you wanna pre-drill these holes if you can. So I'm just gonna, you know, really quickly, just drill out a couple of holes that are, slightly smaller than the diameter of my screw, right? Not a big deal, drill these out. And then I'm gonna flip that hinge back up there and I'm gonna put some screws in there. So I'm gonna take the drill, I'm gonna take the drill bit out. You seen before I was using just a regular ratcheting screwdriver. Now I'm gonna put these in with, uh, with a, with a uh, bit in my drill, right? It goes in there way quicker. All right, flip the screw in there. And fasten all three of these screws onto the door and then go to the other hinge on the other end and do exactly the same steps that we did here. All right, so I did the same on the other side so that I had my first two doors hooked together and then my second two doors hooked together. And here you'll see my brother and I picking this off the, off the table and setting it down. These are very, very heavy. All right, so you have to be careful. Now you see I'm, I'm going to open them. So I'm going to, one door is going to open one way and the other door is going to open the other way. This is a little fastener that's just the leg off of a stove and uh, it's on there to just hold the hold the door in place um, this is the finished door this is the finished room divider i thank you very much for watching if you're currently a subscriber i thank you very much and if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel thanks a lot